indices. We're going to talk about the general rules of indices. We've got quite a few rules of indices. We've got a to the m times a to the n is a to the m plus n. If you times the two things together with the same base, you can just up the powers. Similarly, for dividing, if you divide the two things with the same base, that's the a, you can just take the powers away. If you've got something to a power and that all to a power, you just multiply your two powers together. The minus in the power just means one over, it's a reciprocal. So a special case of this, a to the minus one is just one over a. We've also got fractional powers. So a to the one over n is the nth root of a. So we've got another note here a to the half is the square root of a, a to the third would be a cube root, and we've got a to the m over n, which is the nth root of a to the m, or the nth root of a, all to the power m. Number one we've got is a to the zero equals one, and that works for almost every a, the only one it doesn't work with is zero. So there are basic rules. What we're going to do is we're going to look at them in an example. If we simplify y to the 3 times y to the 2, y cubed times y squared, we can add the powers, we get y to the 5. a to the 7 divided by a to the 4, take away the powers, we get a to the 3. If we look at p cubed all to the power 4, Remember here we times the two powers together, so that gives us p to the 12. 2a squared cubed, which means 2a squared times 2a squared times 2a squared, which will give us the 8 from the 2 cubed and the a to the 6. If we've got 2m cubed times 5m squared, we times our two numbers together and our two m's end up adding the powers. Looks a little bit more complicated because it's got a minus n. n on its own is just n to the 1. So the minus half plus 1 is positive for half. Some more examples. a to the 27 to the power 2 over 3. Well, we can cube root this and then square it. Cube root in a fraction is very straightforward. Just cube root the top and the bottom and then we square so we'd end up with 2 over 3 squared gives us 4 over 9. Anything to the power 0, almost anything to the power 0 is 1. 81 over 16 to the 4 so it's the 4th root of 81 so that's 3 and the 4th root of 16 is 2. Solving with indices 2 to the n equals 16 well, we've got to turn them so they've got the same base number. So we've got to turn 16 into a power of 2. We should know that 16 is 2 to the 4, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Therefore, your n is just your 4. 3 to the 2x minus 1 equals 27. Again, we'll turn 27 into a base 3. So that's 3 cubed. We get 2x minus 1 equals 3. That tells us that x equals 2. We can solve some more complicated things. All we're going to do is we're going to undo the powers. So x to the 2 thirds equals a quarter means x squared equals a quarter cubed, moving 3 across. So that's the same as 1 over 64. x equals square root of 1 over 64, which is x equals 1 eighth. We're going to solve some more. We're going to solve 8 to the n plus 1 equals 16 to the n. We need them to have the same base number. They'll both share a 2 as the base. So that's 2 cubed to the n plus 1, 2 to the 4 to the n. Remember when we've got a power to a power, we can just time them together. So that gives us 2 to the 3 n plus 1 equals 2 to the 4 n. It tells us that 3 bracket n plus 1 equals 
or an. It tells us that 3n plus 3 is 4n. It tells us that 1n is just 3. Thank you.